Hello, everybody. It's me, Gary Teacher. Hi. How are you? Good? That's good. All right. Today we have another story. Are you excited? Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Let's read the story. Ba -ba -ba oh, look. Now it's here. The shopping basket. Ah, who's that? Who is that? What? What is that? Ah, that's right. Good job. It is a shopping basket. Yeah. And here we have a boy. And this story was. Written by John Burningham. Thank you, John Burningham. Let's get into the story. The shopping basket. Ooh, the air looks bad. It's a big city, right? There are lots of people. Maybe good people and bad people. I don't know. Let's see. Aww. This is a monkey? No, Gary teacher, you are wrong. Baby, right, right. Yeah, he is a baby. And this is his brother and his mom. She says, pop down to the shop for me, will you? Pop, 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 pop. That means go quickly, go quickly. Pop down to the shop for me, will you, Steve? And buy, get, give money and you get something, right? Buy six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, mm, yummy, and a packet, one, one packet of crisps. It's kind of like, Crispy, crispy, crisps, it's like chips, you know, chips, they're crunchy, chips, crisps, for your tea, mmm, tea, I like tea, it is not coffee, it is tea, and leave this note, there's a paper, a piece of paper in the basket, right, that's a note, leave a, and leave this note at number 25. All right, I think these people are in Europe. Yeah, in Europe they drink tea a lot. Like every day they drink tea. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so Steve set off for the shop. He set off, he went carrying his basket. He passed number 25, the gap, gap in the railings. Can you say railings? Railings, there's a gap. The full litter, the full litter basket, the men digging up the pavement. They're digging. Here's the pavement. Can you say pavement? Usually you walk on the pavement. It's very hard, right? But they are digging it up. So he's going past all these things. He's walking past these things. And the house where the nasty dog lived. Ooh, nasty dog. It's not a nice dog. It is a nasty, nasty dog or a bad dog, right? A mean dog, nasty dog. And finally, he arrived at the shop. He arrived. Ta -da! I'm here. I arrived. Can you say, I arrived, I'm here. Look, he's at the shop. 
There are different people there. He is buying things, right? Here's money, here's some money, and he gets something. He bought, that means buy, but in the past, in the past before. He bought the six eggs. Dun, 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 dun. Five bananas. Boom, 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 boom. Four apples. Boom, 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 boom. And three oranges for the baby. Boom, 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 boom. Two donuts. Boom, boom. And a packet of crisps for his tea. But when he came out of the shop, there was a bear. Oh no, a bear in the city? That's weird. Let's see the bear on the next page. Are you ready? Done. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh no. Look, the bear is looking him in the eyes. Very, maybe, he's, he's thinking, you must give me something, right? I want those eggs, said the bear. And if you do not give them to me, I will hug. <laughs> I will hug the breath out of you. So he's going to hug tight, 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 really tight. <gasps> help, help. Uh, he's, the bear is not nice. I will hug the breath out of you if, and then the boy, Stephen says, if I threw an egg up in the air, said Stephen, you are so slow. I bet you couldn't even catch it. I don't think so. I don't think you can catch it. I do not think you can catch it. You are too slow. The bear says, me? Slow? Said the bear. And Stephen, so he threw the egg, right? And, and then Stephen ran away. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the house where the Nasty dog lived. There was a monkey. The monkey said, Give me those bananas, or I will pull your hair. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh, he is not nice. And Stephen said, Oh, if I threw a banana, on that dog kennel, or dog house, you can say dog kennel. You are so noisy, bum, 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 bum. so noisy, I bet, that means I think, I bet you could not get it without waking the dog. The dog is sleeping, right? So if the monkey jumps on the dog house, the dog will wake up. The monkey says, me? Noisy? Said the monkey, I'm not noisy, I can do it, I can do it. Oh, but then the, look, the dog woke up. And, but now he lost a banana, oh no. Then so Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to where the men were digging up the pavement, there was a kangaroo. Dun, 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 dun. Give me those apples you have in your basket, said the kangaroo, or I'll thump you. Thump, thump, thump. If I, th and then Stephen now is saying, if I threw an apple, over that tent, you are so clumsy. Walking, 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 clumsy. Or you're walking and whoop, I, 
I dropped something. I'm clumsy. Walking, walking, trip. Ah, that's clumsy. You drop things. You fall down a lot. He's saying the kangaroo is clumsy. I bet, I think, I bet you could not even jump over the tent to get it. Me? Clumsy? said the kangaroo. Look, the tent is falling. And Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to the litter basket, there was a goat. Huh? Mm, goat. Give me the oranges you have in your basket, said the goat, or I'll butt you over the fence. But, what does that mean, butt you over the fence? That's weird. Butt you? Hmm. I think the goat will kick him backwards. That's butting, okay? Kicking backwards is butting. Then Stephen, oh, if I put an orange in that litter basket, litter is garbage, litter basket, you're so stupid. It means not smart. You're so not smart. I bet you could not even get it out. If I put the orange here, goat, you're not smart. You cannot get it. Me? Stupid? said the goat. Oh, look, the goat. He could not get it. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But, oh no, what, what now, what now? But, when he got to the gap in the railings, there was a pig. Give me those donuts, said the pig. Or I'll squash you against the railings. If I put the donuts through that gap in the railings, you are so fat. I bet you could not squeeze through and get them. Me? said the pig. Maybe the pig is too fat and he got stuck. So Stephen, Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But, oh, another but, but when he got to number 25, there was an elephant. The elephant is not nice. He, the elephant wants Stephen to be scared, so he's looking at him very closely. Give me those crisps, said the elephant, or I will whack, whack you with my trunk. Kaboom! If I put these crisps through that letter box. Oh, yeah, and we're going to the post office, right? Letter box, you can put your letter in. Your trunk is so short. Your trunk is, is not long. I bet you could not even reach it. If, you, if I put this through, you cannot reach it. Reach. My trunk is, my trunk is short, said the elephant. And Stephen hurried on home. Oh no, it's stuck, right? He's stuck. Carrying his basket. But when he got to his own house, there was his mother. Where on earth have you been? Where have you been? You're Stephen? I only asked you to get six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, 
two donuts and a packet of crisps. How could it have taken so long? So much time he was gone. Why? His mom is a little angry too. Oh, that's the end of the story. All right, now I have three questions. The first question. Where did Stephen go? Where did Stephen go? Second question. What did the bear want? What did the bear want? And the last question, number three. Why did the pig get stuck? Why did the pig get stuck? All right. Thank you so much for coming to Hope School Reading Time, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.